We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be having a quick look at an RTA. Uh, now, this is by BD Vape, which is the uh, division of Fumitech. Uh, this is like the, the posh gear if you like. It's a Chinese company and um, they did a squonker. Remember the squonker they did before? But they, it was actually really, really nice. Um, well, this is an RTA and I'll be honest, I'm not sure where you'll track it down. Um, I, I've had a look about and it seems to be quite a few places in France, but a lot of them don't have it in stock anymore. It's about 35 euros and it was sent on to me to to play with basically but I'm going to do a quick video for it because I really like it I really like vaping with this I think it's got it's quite stylish looking it's got an old school look to it it's it's not reinventing the wheel it's not it's not anything you haven't seen before but for 35 euros nice looking RTA nice vape from it restricted direct lung or mouth to lung I think it's worth a punt, but um, I'll give you a look and, and you can make your own mind up. So it's the pre Precisio, I think it is. Precision, Precision, Precisio. Ah, uh, call it what you like. We'll call it Bob. Now, the tank itself is 304 stainless steel. It's got a 2.7 milliliter capacity. And it's actually quite big for that capacity, but I, we'll double check that. I, I suspect it might take a little bit more, but we'll have a look. Uh, but the other stuff that comes with it, uh, you do get a little baggie here and there's some Japanese cotton in here. There's lots of O-rings, spares and so on. And there's even a couple of little nice uh, mouth to lung type coils in here. One little tool for changing 510 pins and for working with the posts. And possibly the best... <laughs> oh God, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, but uh, there's some guidance on the coils that uh, it recommends you use. And on the back, uh, there's also mods that they recommend that you do and do not use. Now, it's about 33 millimeters in height, not including the 510 or the drip tip. Uh, it's, once again, it's 304 stainless steel. The 510 pin looks like it's gold-plated brass, and that does protrude. We've got peak insulators going on there, and the usual details on the bottom. Up the top, we have, uh, it's an Ultum and stainless steel drip tip. And I do actually quite like the styling on this. And we do have this like knurling round here. And if we unscrew this, then this is how you fill the tank. So it is a top fill. We have an adjustable AFC down the bottom. So you can go from here for adjusting for your mouth to lung, or you can turn it this far and it will stop. It doesn't keep spinning uh, for a restricted direct lung. So it's just, once again, it's knurled here, spins freely. Also, when you screw this onto a mod, you can see you've got this small lip here, which means you can adjust the AFC when it's actually screwed down onto a mod. We'll unscrew this and we'll get into the deck. But before we do that, we have a stainless steel section and an Ultum section. And this also does unscrew and comes apart. Here's your chimney inside there. It's got a, a nice little condensed chamber. And excuse me, I was just vaping with this, so I apologize for any juice about here. And you get an idea of the bore going down. It's quite a, you know, for a restricted direct lung, mouth to lung, it's it's, it's bang on this. The actual deck here is uh, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Nothing you haven't seen before. Uh, you, you've got about 5.2, 5.3 millimeters uh, space in between the posts there. When I get in here and unscrew the, the screws are nicely threaded. There's, you know, there's not masses of wobble as you unscrew them. The threading is all done well. Uh, you've got wick holes here on either side, two little wells here, and we have our airflow that comes underneath the coil. Now this is, obviously this is perfect for restricted direct lung. Uh, for mouth to lung, it, well, I'll talk about that more at the end. I'm going to be using a fused clapton here from PC Coils. As always, there's a link in the description. Uh, this is, you can run a three mil. Uh, I've been, uh, you can get a three mil millimeter, words, three millimeter in a diameter in here, just. Uh, but I'm talking about a fused clapton. Normal round wire will go in no problem. But you can see here, you know, it's dead, dead easy to get a build in here because, you know, you've got the, a little gully in there, you know, the wire gets trapped, no problem at all. 
I'm not even going to use a coiling rod here. I can just take this coil and, you know, it's just going to sit right in there. Just bend the wire around the back a little bit. Screw that down there. Same on the other side. Snip my wires off. Make sure you get them in nice and close there. Pulse the coil and get the hot spots out. And that's perfect. And that's coming out at 0 0.8 ohms. Pulled my cotton through. I, I've cut it to the outside diameter, outside edge of the, the RTA. And then I'm just tweezing it out and getting all the clumps out. And now I'm just going to fold the cotton down so it fits inside the little well. Now I choose not to cram the cotton down to the very bottom. You can just see it poking down there. Uh, it, just to let the juice, because I use a heavy VG. Uh, that, that's mainly why uh, if I was using a, a heavy PG, then I would probably use a little bit more cotton in there. But for the, the VG I use, that's bang on. Give it a little dab of liquid here just to get it primed up. Screw my tank back on. I will say the threads are really good in this and I'm committing a cardinal sin there. You should never do it on a mod. Remember, if you're screwing a tank onto a deck on a mod, all you're doing is tightening the base down onto the mod. And that's when the atties get stuck. Uh, it's when you do things like that. So always do this off the mod. So if I screw this right down tight, there we go. Going to use some Regency Carmen, which is a... A vanilla custard creme brulee and just measuring that out there and and sure enough it is about 2.7 mil and that's me ready to go now i have lots of to some to some people uh, they, they call it ladida or, or rather expensive rtas and and you can see most of them behind me um, and i enjoy them i like them i like them because i know a lot of the mod makers and uh, they're, they're just they suit my style of vaping this is is less than a third of the price of a lot of the RTAs that I normally use. And I, I'll be completely upfront. Um, this just gives as good a vape as the stuff I have behind me. It really does. There's nothing on here that you haven't seen before. I know I said that earlier, but once again, it's nothing new. It's just simple. Two posts, slap your coil in, air underneath and uh, but it, it, it looks now I, I like the way it looks as well uh and that's the the kite that's an 18350 by ostrix creations there'll be a review for that coming up soon uh, but you know on there is a 22 millimeter rta i think that looks quite nice now it's a 0 0.8 ohm coil in there because i knew i would be vaping with this and fully open it's kind, of, it's kind of similar to the Integra. It's a little bit more than, say, an Integra fully open, but it is a restricted direct lung. <laughs> it's just, it's good. It's The flavour, bang on. It really is good. I mean, it's got that classic little condensed chamber and... The airflow underneath the coil, it, it's just good. Trying to think, I, I not, just checked there, it, it's also very similar to the Evil Reaper V3, fully open. Uh, so it's got the same kind of draw there. Now, mouth to lung, uh, this is, you know, obviously there's no adjustments for underneath the coil. Uh, you're just, you're, all you're doing is closing the air coming in. So if I take this down to here, so that now this is on the mouth to lung setting, and that's a, that's a loose mouth to lung. It's pretty much the same, uh, flavour wise. Uh, obviously it's the same coil, same power output and so on. If I take this down to halfway, so I am there now, and yeah you'll get that down to i mean it feels like a one mil draw you can get it down so that it feels like it i mean obviously the water the power i'm putting out isn't ideal for that kind of vape but i know for a lot of mouth to lung purists they'll be throwing their toys out the pram me possibly included because the airflow underneath the coil isn't small enough and it's you know it's not tied into the airflow out here size wise 
I, I can't knock the way it's vaping. I, I really can't. Um, if it's if it was if it was bad, I would tell you. I am enjoying the vape from this. Thirty-four euros, I think it is. I, I don't think there's any shame to it whatsoever. Yes, you may think it's made in China. It should be cheaper. Um, and and it's not anything new. And and if you don't like it, don't buy it. Uh, but for me, uh, I would happily vape away with this all day long just because it's got what I need looks good and it gives me a good vape I'm not sure where you'll find them uh, have a Google uh, I mean if the UK I'm sure there's some stores in France that have still got them and obviously you won't have any import fees or anything from there I can't find anywhere in the UK that's got them uh, but you know BD vape I liked the little squonker they did. Uh, I thought it was bringing us something close to la -di da but for a lot less money. And I think they've tried to do the same thing here again. Um, it's not shit. But thank you to BD Vape for sending this on. It, I don't know why. I don't think it was sent for review, but uh, I did a review anyway. Uh, to you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time. Bye for now.